what was the conversations like that you were having with your husband as you were deciding to mm-hmm. get into this? Mm-hmm. How does, how Ooh. does that kind of come together? Yeah, that's a good question. I've never been asked. So thank really? you. I like new oh. questions. Yeah. yeah. You're nice. You're a good interviewer. <laughs> so, you know, these questions were, well, the one I remember, I'll, I remember where we were at. We were at a destination wedding in Jamaica. We were at the airport. We landed in the States and our phone was just going off crazy. And that's when people were like, oh, everybody knows whatever. And I was just like, it's not like I was some teen or like, you know, 18, 19, you know, I mean, I was more a grown woman. So I guess my husband said, you know, go big or go home. And I was like, well, I don't know. And he's like, well, you can't take it back. Let's be real. And we really don't have the money to try to take it back. I mean, let's, we just don't. Okay. At that point, we were just really excited to have maybe 20,000 in the bank. Yeah. Always. We were just like, yeah, that's cool. That's good. We're going to just maintain this and we can pay off this and do this, you know, and, and, um, and I'm not downing anyone. I mean, I know everyone's situation is different, but for us, we were really excited at that time, you know, in six months, we were able to just, you know, stockpile and whatever. Okay. So that was our goal then. So at that point, I, I, I just said, well, you know, if I'm going to do this, then we, we need to be smart about it. And, and him and I just had a lot of conversations about what, I would be willing to do, let me just get this little, these little notifications. Um, what would I, you know, how far do I want to take it? Um, that's kind of when we started to develop not a plan, but just, I started looking to other girls to see what they did, to see how they became successful and to see how I could do that. Even though age was an issue, my agent sucked ass. Okay. She was terrible, you know, and I'll tell her and she knows why. And that's the type of person I am, you know, but she'll still come up and, oh my gosh, Kendra. And then I'll have to say, let's be real. We really don't care for each other. Let's move on. And that's, let's not pretend we're friends because that's the type of person I am. I'm a class act. There have been times, okay, maybe I had a little crazy, you know, whatever, but you know, there's a time and a place, but I'm always a class act. And, um, you know, it was great. She was good. I'm not saying I didn't learn anything from her. So I really shouldn't say that, but in the end she tr- showed her true colors and that was just disappointing. Yeah. You know? Like I went to a woman for that reason, hoping right. that I wouldn't be, have be taken advantage yeah. of. And unfortunately that was the circumstances, but you know what? That's okay. Things happen for a reason that and sucks. wish her all the best. Um, but yeah, so we just, him and I just were back and forth what I was comfortable with and what, were what some he was of comfortable limitations? with. Yeah. Like what were yeah. some of the limitations that you guys wanted to put on of things that you didn't want to do? Yeah, I was definitely no anal because I didn't even do anal. I didn't even do it in my personal life. Uh, So I didn't really know. And I think it was just because I didn't know what the, we didn't know what the hell we were doing, you know? And it's like, oh yeah, I'm not, I want anal. My little one's up there playing Fortnite, (laughs) right? Brought it down to the living room on the 75 inch because, you know, she's mad that dad has COVID and we can't, she can't go to the holiday party with her friends. So she's pissed off. So she brings the whole system down there. So she's Oh my God, playing online. So if you hear that, I apologize, but I'm kind of, she says she doesn't listen, but I know butter. She's nosy. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so it was just like, no, you know, cause we hadn't done it. And then if we did try, it was just like, oh yeah, just put it in. No, you dumbass. Like, that's not how it happens. Uh, right. Uh. Oh, pain, like through your whole soul. So, <laughs> so that was one of the things that I was like, no. And then there's the, my career progressed. I just thought, well, there were offers coming through and, and him and I talked about it. So I never did anything without him being comfortable with it, or I'm not just going to do something without talking. You just don't do that. You know, it's still work. It's a business and there's a respect factor and there's limits. And, and I told him at any time, if you're uncomfortable with anything, or this becomes an issue with us, I'm done. Like deuces, you know, thank you for what you've, you know, the industry for what you've done, but my, my home and my family, my marriage is way more important than this alter ego life, because it's, that's exactly what it is. That's not who I am. Right. So, yeah, of course. Um, okay. So you mentioned your daughter is there. She's, uh, playing Fortnite and all that. Mm -hmm. How, what are the conversations you have with your daughter to explain these things that of course she's going to come across and see? Yeah. So, you know, she's pretty wise beyond her years. She's, um, very mature, kind of like an old soul, but real goofy. I don't know. She's just a cool kid. 
And she's always kind of known something. And I think it bothered her. She said, why are people calling your name? We walk. It was at wrestling. It's the first time we took her to a wrestling. Wrestlers, they, they love it. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah, man. Um, DDT. Okay, yeah. So anyway, so <laughs> she's like, why are they calling you Kendra? And I explained. I said, well, I do have a model name. And I kind of, we started there. That was like when she was around six or seven. And then as the years progressed, it more or less, it became a little bit more age appropriate each year, each year. Well, you know, sixth graders tend to know a lot more than sixth graders did back when I grew up. Right. So Uh she brought that to my attention. Um, you know, mom, I know more than you think I know. And I said, Oh, well, enlighten me. Let's, let's chat. (laughs) No, just want you to know. And she goes, you know, I might not agree with everything that you do for your job. She says, but I have to respect it. She says, because it's going down either way. And dad respect or dad knows and he respects it. She's like, so, you know, it is what it is more or less. And I'm like, gosh, that's pretty, um, pretty profound, mature. And like, wow. And I said, well, I feel relieved because I, the last thing I wanted was for you to resent or be really upset with me. And she's like, or hate me. And she's like, I could never hate you. You're my mom. And I said, well, people are going to say pretty negative things to you. I said, but they're also going to say really cool things to you and nice things because we've done a lot of really cool things like within our community and just stuff like that. I said, so there's a lot of people I said, but you know, in life, people are going to say negative things, people are positive things, no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. I said, but what people think of me, I don't really care. Dad doesn't care. I said, all the people that matter to us, all of our family, all of our friends, everybody knows. I said, and I'm your mom. They treat me as Michelle. I said, that is work. That is not who I am. And she's like, I don't really care. She goes, if anyone says anything to to you or to me about you, she goes, I will choke them out because (laughs) she does MMA and it's, she's, I mean, she's, you know, wrestling with kids that are older than her and judo tossing them and, you know, and, uh, you know, so she, and she's, she's a, she boxes. That's really, she's, she's really good. I, we just had her down, uh, boxing with the world champ, uh, female boxer and, uh, her coach wanted to take her down just to see, you know, what she thought. And she says, very coachable girls got talent. Like, so, you know, of course my kid's the best. I don't think that. Okay. (laughs) She can't do gymnastics. I'm like, nope, your cartwheels don't ever think that you you can't honey. Like I'm real when it comes to certain things. Right. But yeah, anyway, so not easy. And, and, you know, and I told her, you know, I'll explain more as she gets older, but she pretty much knows. Did you feel uh, relieved when she brought it to you to just be like, okay, let's just have this conversation and let's move on. Yes, of course. You know, I was sick about it. That would weigh on my, you know, and I talked to another, um, incredibly beautiful soul performer, human being, Brandy love. Um, I remember the conversation because I know she's a mom as well. And I said, I don't know how to deal with this. I, you know, I'm struggling with this and I don't know what to do. And, you know, so she was really helpful. One little conversation really did, did help me. So, so, and you know, her coming to me about it. And, and I think it was kind of like, okay, there's, you know, I, it was almost like no white or no, no we did white elephant, no elephant in the room. Right. So her and I, you know, my little one and I, so, so it's good. So that's cool. It is what it is. And I, and I tell her, you know, I mean, cause she's mouthy, Jesus Christ. Like what are these, like, these kids? I'm like, like what, you know, why? I don't, I don't really yell. I don't really have to yell, but when I have to yell, like it pisses me off because <laughs> yeah, why do I have to look like psycho mom with my eyes bulging and my veins popping out of my neck for you to like get your attention, you know? Oh, when it's dad, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. But me I'm not looking forward to that. Oh God. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, stop. Yeah. There was a point to my story, but anyway, but overall good kid. So 